This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Shopify questions or tasks on demand. Hi guys, so the question is, how do I create tiered or volume discounts in Shopify? Is there a way to do that? And the answer is yes. Um, you do have to get an app to do this because natively Shopify only allows you to use one type of discount code, one discount code period uh, when you check out. So you do have to use an app app for this. Um, it's super simple. There's a bunch of different apps out there with different types of plans, uh, different price points. Uh, the one I have used before that works really, really well is Volume and Tier Discounts by HulkApps.com. And I can provide the link to, for you in the comments so you can uh, check it out for yourself. They do offer a free plan and they also give you a 14-day free trial to their uh, premium plan as well. So all you're going to need to do is click Add App and install this into your store. Okay, and once you do that, it will load up, go to your apps, and then go to the volume and tier discounts app. And you'll get a notification up here that it's syncing all your products. You'll get an email once that's all done for you. Um, and so this is what the app looks like. So I've already created an, a, a discount offer right here. And I can just do a volume discount. Okay. Uh, the status will decide if it's on or off. Right now it is deactivated. I can switch it to active. Um, so that's active now. You can decide whether you want to display offer as a table um, or banner. Show offer table on product page. So I have clicked that yes so people can see um, the different tiers. So they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to buy three products. But wait, I get a better deal if I get 10. So I'm just going to get 10. So that's really helpful. Um, and this is the price level. So this is where you add your different quantities and your different discount codes. So what I've done and if, if someone buys three of these products, they're going to get 10% off, okay? But what if they buy 10? So I put 10 here, and I want to do a fixed price instead of a percent off. So I did 40%. You can add another level, say they got 50 products. Then you can do another percentage. Maybe they get, I don't know, 30% off. All right, so that's how you add those. You can select the offer type, whether it's going to be on a specific product, it's going to be on a variant collection maybe it's by a certain vendor that you guys have or maybe even a product type say you know all jeans or all shirts um, and then these are the product variant filter and you can add different conditions to this maybe um, you want to in a collection and it's equal to um, a certain item a certain product type maybe or the product vendor um, you want to kind of limit it there as well you can add a bunch of different conditions here and click apply um, and then select it. So then this is where you would select your your product. So if I had a product in here that that matched, you know, these conditions, it would pop up here. And then I would just, you know, select those products. And then this is how the offer type is going to be shown on your site. You can either do grid or banner. And then you can also do a detailed grid, a basic grid, a grid range, or a grid alternate. So these are what these all look like. Uh, grid range, a basic grid, and then the detail grid. Um, you can also put customer tags in there. Say if you want to just uh, give this type of discount to your loyal customers and you, you put it in there, they already have an account. And you can also schedule the offer. Say you're doing a flash sale, you only want it to last 24 hours or you want it to uh, last a week. That's where you would add your start time and end time. And then all you have to do is then click submit and obviously I don't have any products in this test store but once I had selected all my products all I had to do is click submit and then it'd be good to go. I hope that helps and I hope you have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Shopify question now. AskQuesty.com